everyone. This is Wilson from P3X Performance. We get a lot, asked a lot of questions. How do I know my front suspension bushings are bad and where are they located and how can I check? We have a Model 3 all-wheel drive here in the shop that we're going to do a um, suspension inspection on and I'll show you where all the arms are. On the front of the Model 3, there's basically three suspension arms. Up here, we have the front upper control arm, uh, this Y-shaped arm. Uh, so this is considered the front upper control arm. On the bottom of the suspension, there's two arms. This is what we call the compliance arm. And then this forward arm is what we call the lateral link. So there's basically three arms. This rear compliance arm controls forward and back movement of the wheels. So under acceleration and braking, this is what uh, keeps the, uh, the wheel in place. This lateral link controls steering input, so left and right steering input. Uh, as we look at the car, you'll see, we're gonna peek in here. And as my finger's pointing, you see this big tear in the inner bushings. Uh, so this, arm, this compliance arm bushing is uh, bad and will need to get replaced. For this forward arm, we're going to take a look at this and you see how worn out that arm is. Uh, we'll also turn the wheel. Uh, that's a sure, sure way of seeing if the arm, uh, the bushing's bad. So we'll go ahead and turn the wheel uh, and we'll show that mm -hmm. to you. Um, so uh, we have a couple of replacement options, uh, which we'll give you um, a look at in a sec. Okay, we have a couple of different options for the front lateral links. Uh, here we have an OE style replacement arm, uh, same rubber bushing. Um, so this uh, will last just about the same as the current one. So if yours wore out at 60,000 miles, this will last just as long, uh, direct bolt on. Or the other option is to upgrade this rubber bushing to a mountain pass performance spherical bearing. Um, this now has no rubber inside. Um, so it's very robust. It'll outlast this by uh, uh, quite significantly. Um, and this will actually give you an increase in steering input because now it's a spherical bearing. It's a great product. It doesn't increase noise, vibration, or harshness. Um, and so here's a picture of this bearing that's um, pressed into this uh, lateral link. So we have these options um, for pickup or for online sales. Uh, for DIY guys, we have this pressed into the arm for you. So it's a direct bolt-on solution. Just bolt it on, get your car aligned, and you're good to go. Okay, we have the car pretty much all buttoned up. Uh, you'll take a look. We did a OE style replacement compliance arm. It's got a brand new arm, brand new bushing in there. Uh, customer also elected uh, for the lateral links to upgrade to the mountain pass performance spherical bearing. So we got that all pressed in. Uh, these board bolts do go back with the blue Loctite. Uh, so there's no um, risk of them backing out. Uh, we're gonna move this car over to the alignment rack and uh, she'll be all ready to go.